Beneath by Roland Smith. Dedication. For my wife Marie, who has always wanted me to write a Christmas story, although I realize that this may not be the story she had in mind. Chapter 1. Down the Rabbit Hole. Exactly one year to the day after my brother Coop ditched me, I got a package in the mail. It came to the school, not our house. The secretary handed me the package with a warning that I was never to use the school as my personal address. I was going to tell her that I hadn't when I saw my name, Pat Meatloaf O'Toole, scrawled in Coop's familiar handwriting. Meatloaf is not my real middle name. I told her I would never do it again, grabbed the package, locked myself in a restroom stall, and tore the box open. Inside was a handheld digital voice recorder, a supply of memory sticks, and a note written on a greasy hamburger wrapper. Little bro, Pat, just turn the recorder to play, and I'll do what you're, and I'll explain what you're supposed to do with this. Do not share with parents. This is just between you and me, your big bro, Coop. I made sure the restroom was empty and switched on the recorder. Hey, Meatloaf, I know you're mad at me for splitting without so much as a goodbye or a note but opportunity knocked. I'm not sure what mom and dad told you, but while you were at school, we had one of our discussions about my future. As usual, it was one-sided, a monologue, not a dialogue, and their plans for me did not include anything I was interested in doing. Big surprise. So I packed my things and walked out the door while it was still open. I would have called and explained, but you know my take on the whole phone thing. Then I was going to write you a letter But the longer I waited, the longer the letter got in my head. Pretty soon it was too long to write. Know what I mean? So I bought a second digital voice recorder, exactly like the one I've been using in my travels, and figured you and I could stay in touch on the little memory sticks that store the recordings. And the truth is that I want to hear your voice, and I hope that you still want to hear mine. So consider this a slow-motion cell phone. You'll be able to transcribe all this onto one of your journals you're always scribbling in. Pistolary, remember that? Now, memorize this address. P.O. Box 1611, New York, New York, zip 10011. This is where you can send the memory sticks when you figure out how to use the recorder. And it would be nice if you would respond soon so I know you got the recorder and that you're okay. Here's another address you need to know. P.O. Box 912, at the post office on Elm Street. That's your private mailing address in McLean. You pass the post office every day on your way to and from school, so it shouldn't be a problem for you to pop in and check the mail. The P.O. Box key is buried in the pot with the petunias, Miss Flower planted in the backyard. I assume that Mom and Dad still haven't hired anyone to do any landscaping since the flowers were fired. And I'm certain you haven't done any yard work, so the key should be there. Talk to you soon, little bro. Only Coop could think of something like this. That's how his mind works, but the recorder was a huge technological leap for him. I think this is the first electronic gadget he has ever owned. The little recorder has a lot of functions. There's software with it, too. I can edit the recordings, splice them together like I'm doing now, and then transcribe them in my journal. A hybrid journal. A collaboration with my brother. The thumb switch on the side has five positions. Play, fast-forward, rewind, record, erase. Down the rabbit hole we go.